Hi guys. All right, today I'm gonna make an instant pot butternut squash soup. I make this butternut squash soup all the time. I don't usually do it in the instant pot. I usually just cook it on the stove top um, in like a Dutch oven. But today I'm gonna put it in the instant pot because I have it and it's gonna be a lot quicker. So if you don't have one, no big deal. You just do the exact same thing that I'm gonna do now in a pot, a large pot on the stove top. And um, you'll just have to, you know, let it um, kind of steam in there for um, longer than the instant pot. And that's really the only difference. So I already cut up all the ingredients because I wanted to make it easier. I have one whole butternut squash that I've chopped up. Mine was about a medium sized one. It doesn't really matter the size. You'll just adjust your liquid. Um, to, to your size, but mine was like medium. And then I had, um, those were, I did four small carrots, but really two large, two to three large ones is good. And then I have one whole medium size Spanish onion that I cut up, it doesn't matter what onion, but that's what I had. And then two cloves of garlic. And then, Well, I'm having a hard time getting that to focus, but anyway, it's just cumin, ground cumin, salt, pepper, and chicken stock, and that's it. So all I've done so far is I have turned my Instant Pot on to the saute. All right, there you go. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take some olive oil and just put that in the pan. Not too much, about a tablespoon. And then we're going to put in our garlic and our onion and we're going to saute it. You hear it sizzling. Now what we're gonna do is just mix that up. And just let that cook just for a few minutes until the onion gets translucent. You know, just so you can kind of see through it and it's cooked a little bit. So I'm gonna let that go just for a few minutes. And then, um, oh, I forgot to mention I have sage too. I just had some uh, fresh sage left over that I needed to use up. So I'm just gonna put that right in there with it. And then we're gonna end up, um, uh, blending everything at the end. So I'm just good. That's why I leave it in there whole and I'm just going to pull it out for the flavor. So I'm going to let that go for a few minutes and then I'll come back. a minute or so I'm gonna go ahead and add my cumin I'm gonna pull this off now I like a lot of spice I think I say that in every video because it's true um, you can put as much as you want that's about three teaspoons I would say um, I really like cumin and it's really it's really smoky and it's good in this um, since it's pretty much the only seasoning that we use I put a decent amount in there uh, but you know do it to your liking but on a squash is pretty sweet um, and we're going to be adding carrots, so I like the smokiness with it. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper in a second. And add just a little bit more. And if you put it in um, with the onions like that, it kind of uh, toasts the um, the uh, cumin a little bit. And it kind of, when you do that, when you kind of cook up the um, seasoning, it um, expands the flavor. I don't know why I can't think today, but anyway. It's my day off. I'm in relaxed mode. So yeah, just put the, the um, cumin in there. I'm going to let that just cook up for a couple more minutes and then I'm going to add the carrots and the butternut squash.
All right, that's been cooking up for a few minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add my carrots and my butternut squash in. So easy. The carrots, I'm gonna get all the butternut squash. Add that all in. And now I'm gonna add a good bit of salt and some pepper. Just to your liking. Give it a good mix. And so if you were just doing this in, the, in a um, Dutch oven or in a pot on the stove, you do the exact same thing. Um, and then you're gonna cover it with chicken stock, which we're gonna do in a second. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in a couple of bay leaves. I also forgot to show that. So I'm gonna pull those out, put in a couple of bay leaves. And then we're gonna turn this to the soup function and let it cook on that function for 10 minutes and then let it self release um, or like self steam release or whatever that's called on these things. <laughs> um, and then um, pull the lid off and then I'm gonna take my immersion blender and just blend it all up so it gets really creamy. Um, it's really good and I keep it just like that. Sometimes I'll add um, like heavy cream or half and half if you wanna add a little creaminess. Um, you could even add like coconut milk. I think I've done that before. Um, if you, you know, are um, vegetarian or not vegetarian, vegan, and you don't want um, the dairy, or if you just don't eat dairy, I mean, that would be good too. But uh, today, I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple, and I might top it with sour cream. That's really good, but it's just really, really easy, really good. I make this sometimes for Thanksgiving. I'll make it ahead of time, like the day before, and then I'll put it in my um, crock pot, and I'll just leave it there for uh, like on, uh, you know, I'll heat it up and then let it sit on that, um, in that pot. I really can't talk today. <laughs> I'll let it sit in the crock pot um, and let people have that as like an appetizer if they want um, before dinner and everybody always really likes it. And I freeze it. Um, I'm the only one in my house that will eat it. My husband's not big on vegetables, so he doesn't really <laughs> eat this, but I freeze it a lot. Um, pretty much every time I make soup. And it's just as good if you eat it again, you know, a month later um, and just defrost it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken stock and add it in. So I'm going to, I don't usually measure, I just kind of cover the, um, you know, the vegetables. Cause I want it to be creamy. I don't want it to be soupy, but I'm gonna measure it just to, for the sake of this video so that I can put the measurements down below. So, so far I've added two cups. I'm def probably gonna add two more. Okay, so that was two cups and here is two more. Let me mix this up and see how I like it. Yeah, that's perfect. So I did four cups. So hopefully you can kind of see in there what I mean. So you can still see the vegetables and it just covers it just slightly. Um, and when you move it around this, there's movement so it's liquidy but it's not too much because again, we're gonna blend it up with the immersion blender and if you put too much liquid in there then it's just gonna be too liquidy and I, that's not really what I want for soup. Plus, as you cook it, some of the um, liquid is going to, you know, absorb, so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is get some bay leaves, put two of them in there, and then I'm gonna turn this Instant Pot to the soup function and let it go.
Okay, something you always want to be sure you're Something you always want to be sure you're doing is you have when you're first working with the or getting started with the um, Instant Pot starting to cook always make sure it's on the ceiling so you move this little lever to the ceiling and then this little silver thing in there pops up once it's come to pressure okay so we have it on ceiling and now what we're gonna do is i'm going to hit the whoops turn that off cancel sorry and then hit the soup button and i'm going to turn this down to 10 minutes All right, so my soup is all pureed up and I'm filming on my phone now because of course, once I was about to turn the camera back on to finish filming this, my memory card got full. It was inconvenient, but at least it was towards the end of this video. Um, so anyway, if it looks a little different in the um, picture, it's because I'm using my phone. So I've pureed the soup so you can see it's See if it's kind of hard to tell the consistency. It's liquidy, but still um, a little bit thick. So I'm just gonna try it now for salt and pepper, just to make sure that it tastes the way that I want it. Mmm, and it's perfect. But if you want more salt and pepper, go for it. Now at this point, if it's you know not creamy enough um, or not creamy enough, if it's too thick, you can add more liquid. So you could um, use you know the chicken stock or veggie stock or even water. It's just not going to have as much flavor. Just make sure you keep it like warm on the stove or you know warm it up in the microwave and then just add a little bit and, and mix it up. And that's a good way to um, kind of thin it out. So that's why you don't want to add too much when you're first um, you know put putting the uh, liquid in the uh, pot. I'm gonna transfer this to the bowl and show you how it looks and that's it. 